What's going on everybody, it's Game of Boxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video, I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make Emmett Prakowski from the LEGO movie using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with, we're of course going to head into appearance, head, head, and then head again, and of course we're going to go with custom head 6 in yellow. Then once you've done that, you're going to back out of there, go into hair pieces, and we're going to go with the comb over in this brown colour right here. Nice. Now then, onto the body. So for the body, we're going to go with a preset body, and you're going to scroll all the way to the top until you find the flagman body. And for the colour, you're just going to make sure that it is orange. Now then, for the arms, you're going to go with both arms and make sure that they are this blue right here for the hands you want to match the skin tone by making sure that it is yellow for the hips we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until we find vigilante's belt which is this one right here and we're also going to make that orange now like i always say vigilante is a character that is included in the tv supervillains dlc pack so if you don't have that there's plenty of other belts you could choose from in the customizer and finally we of course need to choose the leg pieces so for the left leg i actually went with captain boomerangs which we're of course going to make orange. Then you're going to back out of there, go into right leg, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Dr. Poison's leg. And again, you're of course going to make it orange. Nice. Now then, onto the effects. So we don't need a left hand glow or a right hand glow, but for the hit impact effects, we're going to turn that on, make sure that it is style 1, and then for the colour, you're going to go with black. And you're also going to do the same for the jump slam effect as well. So you're going to go with style 1, and then for the colour, you're of course going to go with black. So you can see here, it leaves less of an effect as possible. Now usually in these videos, what we'd now be doing is moving on to showcase the abilities that you need for a specific character. But I actually didn't give Emmett any skills or abilities, because basically what I did was, I was basing his powers and abilities is on how he plays in the Lego Movie video game and Lego Dimensions. And unfortunately, none of these skills or abilities or anything like that that he had in those games is actually in this one. So I just decided not to give him any skills or abilities at all. So now we're going to move on into the personality. So for the health icon, I'm going to go with orange. For the health type, we'll go with standard health. For the voice, just choose any male voice. For the speed, go with normal. For the target reticle, this isn't really required. And then for the animation, we're going to go with normal. Now, like I said, obviously this is a character with no abilities whatsoever and I didn't want to do that for Emma so instead what I decided to do was give him a weapon but a weapon that made sense so we're going to go to misc weapons and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find a spanner and for the color you're of course going to go with this blue right here which is the same blue as the arms nice all right now then all we need to do now is of course fill in the basic information so for the status we'll put hero for the affiliation we'll put unknown and then for the name we're going to put Emmett because Brokowski does not fit in the grid nice all right cool so now of course what we're going to do is drop Emmett into the hub world and see just what he can do and here he is this is of course my custom made Emery Brokowski made in Lego DC Supervillains let's just get a good look at him right here now in terms of his appearance I think I did a pretty good job here I mean I would say that this is the most accurate looking Emmett that I can make in Lego DC Supervillains at this time and I would hate to you know hurt Emmett's feelings here but I think he's probably the most useless character that I have ever made in this game. But in all seriousness, I absolutely love this character. It's just, you know, he can't really do anything. Of course, if we run over here, you know, he can do rolls like that. That's pretty cool. He can also attack like this with his weapon. And that's it. That's all he can do. So let's actually go fight the police as Emmett. Now, I didn't, you know, just not give him any abilities because I couldn't be bothered or anything like that. I would never do that with these custom character videos. The reason I didn't give him any weapons it's because there was just nothing that he had in the Lego movie video game or Lego Dimensions that was in this one. So I just thought anything that I gave him in this wouldn't have felt right. It just wouldn't suit that character very well. And I always try to make the characters not only look, you know, how they should, but also play how they should. And even though Emmett doesn't have many abilities, or any abilities at all for that matter, I still think he's really cool. You can see him here on this forklift. It looks like Emmett. It really does look like Emmett, and that's awesome. That's what you want. You want him to look like Emmett Brokowski, so you can drive around on a forklift as this character, which is awesome. And of course, when you team him up with other LEGO Movie characters that I've already made, such as Benny and Rex Danger Vest, it's even more fun. So, I think he's a fun character to run around with. Alright, I want to do this jump here, because why not? Oh, am I going to make it? I didn't make it! Are you kidding me? What the point? What is the point in that jump? What is actually the point in that jump? Okay. I wanted to uh, go the other way, but I saw that jump and, you know, I couldn't resist. I could not resist. Alright, this way. Whoa. Whoa. 
Now, technically, this isn't the first time that Emmett has actually come to Gotham City or Metropolis. Well, we're in Metropolis at the moment because, of course, in LEGO Dimensions, they had the DC Hub World, the DC Adventure World, which consisted of a mix of basically Gotham City, Metropolis, and Atlantis. I absolutely loved Atlantis in that game, and I kind of wish that they brought it back for this one, especially considering that they had uh, two Aquaman movie packs, because it would have been awesome to be able to explore an open-world Atlantis as Jason Momoa's Aquaman. But maybe next time. I mean, that would be cool. But again, you know, we always have LEGO Dimensions. It's, it's a game that you can always go back to and play, and it is still fun to this, game, to this day. And being able to, you know, swim around Atlantis as a classic Aquaman is just as fun. Now then, obviously, like all my videos, you know, to get the notoriety going, you can either destroy as many vehicles as possible, or you can attack the nearest pedestrian over and over again until you get some gold notoriety. All right, come on. Or you can attack the police officers as well. It's just I feel like it's not as reliable. All right. On. Now, I've talked a lot about the Lego Movie 2, the second part, in these videos, you know, with Benny and Rex Dangerous and all these characters, and I am super excited for the film. I cannot wait to see it, but I'm also very curious to see what the future of the Lego Movie franchise is actually going to be. Are we going to get a third movie? I would imagine that probably depends on how well this one performs. I would say that it's going to perform amazingly. Absolutely. I mean, from what I've heard so far, you know, like I said in my other videos, I don't really like to look into this movie at the moment because I want it to be a surprise. Prize. I absolutely love the first movie and I don't really want to give anything away for myself so I haven't really looked at anything but I know the reviews are good so this movie is probably going to do really well and likely get a third movie but aside from that I'm very curious to see you know the spin-offs because I believe Lego Batman movie 2 is confirmed I think we are going to be getting a Lego Batman movie 2 but Lego Ninjago movie I'm not sure if they're making another one of them I haven't heard anything about that and also you know it'd be interesting to see if they announced any, un any other spin-offs because you know we've, we've got all of them but are they going to announce any more aside from just sequels? We'll have to wait and see. Okay, there's not a whole lot of police officers coming to get me at the moment. Where are they? There we go. Hello, sir. How you doing? I'm going to do that to you. Yeah, that's awesome. See, Emmett is useful. He is. He is a very useful character. Oh, wow. There's a crack in the ground there. That was weird. Right, come on. Where are all the police officers? Rex, you could help, you know. You could uh, maybe... Distract them, get their attention, so we can actually uh, have a good fight here. Nope, still nothing. Right. Today is very quiet in Metropolis. Very, very quiet. You there! Sir in the hat! Taste my spanner. <laughs> right. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Gotta get that gold. Oh, yes! That woman's distracted. <laughs> the police officer's distracted. She's behind the bush. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. We've got this. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, now it's full to the top. So now we should get the SWAT teams coming after us. There we go. Now, even though I didn't really give Emmett any abilities in this game, I'm very curious to see what abilities he has in the LEGO Movie 2 video game. Because, of course, you know, they're not going to do the exact same thing as the LEGO Movie 1. Because I believe, you know, obviously everything has gone completely different since that movie. Everyone's in a post-apocalyptic, Mad Max looking world. So Emmett might have a weapon or something. That would be pretty cool. I see Superman I she knows Superman? That pedestrian's talking about Superman. I guess she knows him. There we go. Nice. I think one of the things that I'm most excited about with the Lego Movie 2, the second part, is probably the banter between Emmett and Rex Danger Vest. Just the idea of two characters voiced by Chris Pratt talking to each other is going to be amazing. And like I said in the Rex Danger Vest video, I, there is no doubt in my mind that we're going to get some sort of reference to Rex or Emmett calling them out and being like, you know, you sound like me, or do I know you from somewhere, or something like that. Like, that's going to be great. Really, really cool. And of course, you know, Rex is a character that is a combination between a bunch of Chris Pratt's roles over the years. You know, obviously he is a galaxy-defending archaeologist, cowboy, and raptor trainer. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic World, and of course, you know, there was the uh, cowboy movie he did. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed that one. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually call out Star-Lord or something. I don't think there's going to be any Marvel cameos or anything, but it would be amazing if he was, like, on board the ship or something. Or if there was, like, a Star-Lord um, minifigure suit, you know, in the corner of a room or something where Rex is. Like, that would be amazing. Just any reference to Star-Lord with, with uh, Emmett and Rex Dangervest already in the film would be really, really cool. But we'll have to wait and see. 
Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, Emmett is not a very useful character, but he's a fun character to play as. You know, if you like the character, you're gonna make him and you're gonna run around with him for a bit. And yeah, he's pretty cool. I think the most fun thing to do was just driving around on the, uh, on the forklift, to be honest. I mean, just being able to do uh, jumps and everything with Emmett was a lot of fun. So yeah, I would recommend doing that over anything else. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.